What's up everybody, it's your boy Ness. And today I wanna to show you a video about a pastor and a father who attends a school board meeting to expose the pornographic material books placed in our children's libraries. Here it is. Your long last name is Amon Chukwu, it means I know God. And I'm glad to say that I do. I'm here today to talk about uh, this book here my name is John Amanchukwa, as we stated earlier. It's called, It's Perfectly Normal for Students 10 and Up. This book details all kinds of sexual images, pictures of elderly people, nude, pictures of an individual who's in a wheelchair with his penis out, all of these sexual pornographic images are made available and placed at the fingertips of children. And I'm sure Dr. Cruz, I don't know if you knew about this before you signed on, but hopefully this is something that you can address and deal with because this is immoral and asinine to allow children to be able to see this. Also, this book even shows images of two women having sex, a man and a woman having sex, and two men having sex. That's not perfectly normal. Who decides what's normal? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Or do parents decide what should be placed at the fingertips and allowed to be taught to their children in the school system? I'll read some of this for you. It says, after a bit, a person's vagina becomes moist and slippery. And the clitoris becomes hard. After Sir, a I, bit, a person's excuse, penis, pass, pass penis becomes gonna, erect, stiff, me. and larger. Pa Pastor. Sometimes a bit of clear Pastor. fluid that may contain a few sperm comes out of the tip of the penis and makes Pastor. it wet. Can we, sir, I'm sorry. I, is I'm, there, did I, was it something I said? <clears throat> was it something I said? If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? You see, we have perverts that are perverting our kids. And you all sit back smug in your chairs and celebrate diversity, equity, and inclusion, but you don't want me to read it so you can hear it. Why? Does it bother you? Yes or no? You can't answer that question. You want to know why? Because politically speaking, you can't say that it's wrong. You probably are a Christian man. But many Christians today have become more Democrat than Christian. Some Republicans have become more Republican than Christian. I'm not trying to win an election. I don't get my talking points from the RNC or the DNC. I get my talking points from the B-I-B-L-E, from the Bible. And you don't want me to read the filth because it exposes the truth. How dare you tell me to stop reading it? If you don't want to hear it, why should the children have to see it? Pastor, your time is, is, time is up. Thank you. That makes two of us. See, this man, this father, this pastor said it best. It's not about democratic views it's not about republican views it's about seeing the world through a biblical world view if you truly believe because what they're doing right now is a magic trick keeping you distracted while they plan for something behind the scenes see we spend so much time in our jobs long hours Without our, without our families. And then we don't know what's happening in the school system. This is why me and my wife decided to homeschool our kids for the past three years since COVID began. Because we already saw where things were going. We didn't like it. And our investment is in our children. Our investment is what God has given us, given us the responsibility for. See, Vudi Bachman said, don't be surprised when you send your children to Caesar and they come back Romans. Don't be surprised when they're grown and you remember them 
at a certain age. But now they talk back to you. They disrespect you. They believe in things that you don't believe. Why? Because you were never there. Because you were investing in the wrong 401k. I'll leave you with this. Jesus says in Matthew 18 verse 6. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck. And he would drown in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. For offenses must come. But woe to the man by whom the offenses come. Now that's not my message. That's Jesus, the creator, God Almighty. Woe to the world when they don't want to, when they want to harm one of these little ones. Now let me know what you think. Leave a comment. And thank you also for tuning in. God bless you in Jesus' name.